Hello, this is Clarice Mertz, the Brazilian one. And today we are sewing placemates. Let me show you one that I already did here. Look how beautiful. Oh, this is so big. It is a little bit bigger than the traditional ones. And I choose to do my bigger because I want my plate salad and everything in my placemate. So I did a little bit bigger and let me show, let me tell how big it is. Mine is 22 by 18. Normally they are, normally they are 18 by 13 and I did my, my much bigger. So, but I will give you all the measures uh, while I'm doing. I did my own cotton and my fabrics I bought at Walmart. So this is the way, very simple, very easy to do. If you are beginning in sewing, this is the ideal project to start with. And look how beautiful it is. It's reversible and is really, really beautiful. And it's a very nice thing to give for a Mother's Day. So let's see how to do it. So here I have in my fabric that I will do my placemate. And it measure 18 by 14 inches. It will be a little bit bigger than... Um, regular placemate. So I have two kinds of, of fabric here. I have this one with little flowers and I have this just pink in that side. I stitch here, I stitch it in black for you can see exactly what I did for them not move and you cannot do just the pin because when you sew the the borders here you need to take out and with the pin is very difficult to do. So I advise just to uh, give some stitches. Maybe this uh, side you can see better. So I stitch it just to be together. And this is the fabric that I will do my borders. And it is the size of here. The 14 and I, I, I make it a little bit bigger just in case. So the border measure um, 16 by 6. So I you put my border here, uh, right side up. And I you put my uh, this fabric on top of it. And then I roll it. I roll my fabric like so. And I will get this part of my fabric and I will come here. And I will pin it, make sure that you get all the fabrics. will be something like this with the fabric inside. Now I use sew it where my pins are, okay? And I come back. So I already sew it. And now I will take my fabric from inside out, like so. Because of this, you cannot just put the pin. You need to uh, give some stitch to the fabric be together. Because in that time here, if you have uh, needles inside, it will hurt your hands and it will be very hard to take the fabric out. And this is the way it turned out. And let's iron it. Always when you're sewing, be with your iron very close because you really need to iron to everything come together here. So here where it's a little bigger, I you cut this part out. Thank you. 
so will be something like this look okay and now I will do the same thing in another side now I have the two sides done and now I will do here now that I will measure and cut my fabric that I will use here okay so now I measure and cut my part for uh, this part of the, my placemate and it is uh, even bigger. I left here extra fabric because when you finish, you need to fold it in and stitch. Okay, so this part of my the size is I cut my 26 by six the same size here but much bigger here okay so i will do the same thing here let me show you so i you got my uh border here and i you put my placemate on top just the, the same way we did the these parts here and now make sure that you leave here at least two fingers of fabric and this side too okay so this needs to be kind in the middle here so let's hold it up and we will do the same thing bring it up put some needles here just the way we did with the other side and i will sew it over here and I come back so I already sew it and I will take it out just the way we did the other sides and here we have the other side let's iron it So here we have this extra fabric and you leave it like this for now, okay? And now I will do the same thing with this side. So always remember the right side is up and let's do the same thing here. So now I have all the four corners like this. And I will cut a little bit because it's too long. Leave it here like two fingers of fabric and I cut. And I will open to cut a little bit inside the extra fabric to, to not be too bulk. So you have this inside little piece there. I will cut a little bit. And a little bit over here too. Now I will fold this extra fabric inside. Like so. And I will iron. Now I will put a needle and I will do the same thing in the four corners. So here I have my four corners folded and here to finish you can go two ways. You can uh, sew it in the machine, you can go all around or you can do by hands a little stitches that you cannot see and this is the way i will do i think it's more delicate than just so but either way is okay i rather to do by hands here and now let's take this black ugly stitch from it and now i will iron it again and i will show you how it looks like very easy right so i did two of them what is this one one in one size is only pink and one size has a little flowers 
And the other one is this one that is flowers with a symmetric, I think, uh, pattern. And I think they are very beautiful, very easy to do as you saw. And you can use the same, same method to do a tablecloth. Look how easy it is. You can do with two fabrics to, to be able to use in both sides or just one fabric. And I have a video that I did some pillowcases on with the same method. I will leave a link here in your right, okay? For you, if you want to check it out. So, and this is a very beautiful thing for you to give to Mother's Day or for a friend or for yourself, of course. <laughs> and I hope you like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. So subscribe to my channel. See you Tuesday. Bye.